Hey everybody, welcome back to all the camping enthusiasts or, or jeepers or whoever you are out there watching the channel. Now, normally I try to stay pretty positive. Uh, and I started this video originally with a review that I wanted to do with an, the whole unboxing, the whole scenario of this guy here. This is the Blackstone Portable Air Fryer. Now, I really wanted to like this thing, but I'm gonna give you the five reasons why I don't think you should buy it. Okay, so first off is the size and weight of this thing. Now, it's 31 pounds, so it's not light by any stretch. It's also, they say it's a 14 inch, approximately, I think it's 13 by three quarters, 13 by three quarters and 14 inches big, but it really isn't convenient. It doesn't fit well in pretty much any of the camping spaces doesn't work well above my drawer system. I can put it in the back seat, but it just takes up a lot of space. Uh, it's generally just larger than your standard air fryer for what it can do. So the second thing to really consider is the temperature on it is really hard to maintain. So the reason you buy an air fryer a lot of times is the set and forget it. I set a time, I set a temperature, I walk away, I do something else, I come back, and my wings or the meatballs or the potatoes or whatever are ready to go. Now on this, because on this dial, there's no gauge to temperatures. It just kind of has the kind of low to high kind of wave. It does show you the temperature on the display, but getting it to stay there, this thing really does pull a lot of heat into it also. It's almost impossible to really tune this in. It takes you a lot longer. It's going to take up more propane, more power to get it right where you want it. Now, to make it worse, if I open this thing, as soon as I open it, I check the temperature, I slide it back in. If I was at 350, I drop down to about 300 degrees. Number three is all about power consumption. Now, it is propane powered. It only uses the battery or the AC adapter for this display, which has the timer, has the temperature sensor in it. But I went ahead and used the battery for the first cook I did on it, and it went from full battery with eight double A's down to three quarter, and I only used it for about a half hour worth of cooking. So I'd be a little concerned it would drop down. Now, keep in mind though, you could plug in. So if you've got an inverter or you've got something, you could plug in and use it that way, and then you're using propane. But a regular, say the, the Ninja air fryer takes about 1500 watts of power. That's not that much different than say your induction cooktop. So if you've got the inverter power and you've got the battery power, you might be better off just going with a traditional 110 home unit. So the fourth thing to consider is really how this is to clean. Now, if you're gonna use this, it's really designed where you're out at a primitive campsite most likely. In all reality, if you're at a campground, you plug in, you could use your regular 110 small air fryer from home or even a much larger one if you wanted. But this, you wanna use it where you're out primitive camping. And when you have a limited water supply, you don't want something that's really hard to clean. Now, the basket isn't too bad. I've used it a couple times now. I've still got some spots where I'm showing where it's kind of baking on. The tray, on the other hand, right away, I started getting this, where it's just baking right onto it. Now, that was after a lot of scrubbing to get it there. So you really are gonna need to be able to clean it well, I think, and if I'm baking things on, it's just not what I want when I'm out of sight. I wanna make sure that I can get things cleaned quickly and I appreciate when I don't need to use as much water up when I'm out out of sight. So to me, it just makes it a little bit harder to clean. So the fifth one is gonna be the cost of this thing. So if you look it up on Blackstone Direct, it's $249 direct from them it's $179 at Walmart, so that's a little more reasonable. But when you can get a comparable air fryer, so this is a three and a half quart, you get a comparable four quart air fryer for under $100, uh, maybe just barely over, not have to have the propane. It's much smaller than this. It takes care of a lot of your features. The cost is possibly just too much to swallow. So when I combine all those things, I just can't recommend going to buy this Blackstone portable air fryer today.
I'm hoping it gets better. It's obviously very new. It's one of the first to market to do this kind of thing uh, with the propane, but I would just stick to your 17 or 22 griddle, maybe your home air fryer and go for there from now. The price is cheaper there. If you've had a campground or you've got the power, just use it. So for now, I just can't recommend you going this route. But obviously I'm not sponsored. I'm not trying to pull anything out of this. I'm just trying to give you my opinion of what I saw when I first got it because I was really excited about it. Uh, and unfortunately that didn't last very long. So until next time.